It's time to work on a mix in DP8. Let's check out that snare drum. The snare drum needs some help. I'd like to put an EQ plugin on the track and maybe also a compressor. You can see that there are six effects inserts available for plugins. If I go to the mixer mini menu, I can set the number of effects inserts for the session. I can have up to 20 effects inserts per track. I'll click on an insert to add an effect plugin. That brings up the effects chooser, and here is a list of all the currently available plugins. I'll scroll down the list and you'll see I've got literally hundreds of plugins. This includes third party plugins as well as the stock DP8 plugins. DP8 is currently shipping with over 70 studio grade audio plugins. This is overwhelming. There's got to be a better way to manage all these plugins. Let's start by going to the digital performer menu and opening the preferences window. I'll click on audio plugins. This shows a list of all the audio plugins that are currently installed in my computer. As I scroll down the list, you'll see that some of the plugins are enabled, some are disabled. If a plugin doesn't pass the audio unit validation, that's also noted. What we can do is create plugin sets. This allows us to run DP with only the plugins we want to have loaded. This speeds up launching time and conserves on memory resources. Now I'll go back to the effect chooser and you can see that the plugins can be organized in different ways. For example, the stock Motu plugins are organized into categories. Here are my Motu amp simulators. We can also look at plugins listed by manufacturer. Here are my Abbey Road plugins, Antares plugins, Lexicon plugins. Here are all my Waves plugins. Here are the audio unit plugins, the Motu audio system plugins, and you see that I've got a couple of VST plugins available. And I can also make my own categories. I've created a folder for all my EQ plugins. You can see that I can add a category. We'll call this Dave's Faves. Now I'll drag some of my favorite plugins into the new category. I can select multiple plugins at the same time if I like. Now when I click on that category, there are the plugins I just dragged over. Now I'll right click and get this menu that allows me to save as a menu category. And watch what happens now. If I right click on the effect insert, I get a menu that displays my newly selected category. And this is a quick way to display only the specific plugins that you want to see. The menu also displays a list of recently used plugins. We'll open the effect chooser again and you can see the recent items list. Not only can I organize my plugins into categories, I can also create folders and nest categories into those folders. I'll call this folder Stock Mix. I'll drag in my favorite stock mix categories and plugins, and this is just one more way to organize effects so you can find exactly what you want at a glance. I'll make this folder a menu category, and when I right click on the effect insert, that's exactly what I'm going to see. Now I'll go back to the effect chooser and click on presets. Now we're not looking at the plugins, we're looking at plugin presets. Check out the saved presets for the Antares Harmony Engine plugin. Here are presets for Motu plugins. Presets can be organized just like the plugins themselves. Here's another way of working with presets. The topmost insert allows me to store presets, and not just presets for individual plugins, but presets for chains of plugins. I'll choose the punchy kick preset, and you can see that's loaded an EQ and a Masterworks leveler. There's the EQ, there's the leveler. If I want to clear all the inserts with a single command, I can do that. If I want to create preset chains or change the way presets are organized, I can do that. So this is a great way to organize not just plugins, but plugin presets, including chains of multiple plugins. Of course, if I want to add to my preset chain, that's easy enough. I'll go find a cool compressor to add to the track. That's the Dynasquash, which happens to sound pretty amazing on a snare drum. So there's a quick look at the sophisticated plug-in management in DP8 from Motu.